let's do some general observations how many address lines are present in this row decoder see there are two address lines a1 and a2 so my m is equal to 2 how many output lines or word lines we are going to call it 4 so this is 2 raised to m that is 2 raised to 2 which is 4 and we'll call this term as n each output has how many number of transistors remember we are just counting pull down transistors ignoring PMOSes as pull up ignoring pull up PMOS and also ignoring inverters which we have used to invert our address lines we are ignoring this just for assumption each output has how many number of transistors if you see R1 had 2 R2 had 2 R3 had 2 we are ignoring this right now just for our calculation so what we can say that each output has two number of transistors 2 total number of transistors would be number of outputs which is 4 in this case into the transistor for each which is 2 which is 8 we can easily put a general thing for this the number of outputs or number of outputs is nothing but number of word lines is 2 raised to m into the transistor for each which is nothing but m so the total number of transistors required would be m into 2m barring the inverters used for inverting the address lines and also the PMOS which are grounded and used as pull up network these are the number of transistors used so this completes the understanding of row decoder we can make a similar NAND based row decoder also which will be an active row decoder in the next clip we are going to see how to implement a column decoder stay tuned hope you are following thank you very much and take care